beautiful. Look at him thrash. Look at him. Oh, he's like a salmon. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Team Handyman's The Master Angler. Sit back and spend the next few minutes taking in some of Southern Alberta's great scenery, as well as some of its best fishing as shown by one of its most experienced guides, Andy Vanderplu. Hey, Andy Vanderplu, and here we are. We're back again. I've got today's special guests, Adam and Mike, and they're going to show me how to do some Rocky Mountain Whitefish action after this. And we'll show you a little tip, tips and techniques and how to rig up for Rockies shortly. All right, we're going to show you guys how to uh, uh, set up for Rocky Mountain Whitefish action. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a six pound lead. I'm going to go about three feet long. Peel out a six pound piece of, ch uh, of line. And we'll cut it off. I'm going to attach the bell sinker. First step. This falls under rigging systems. We're going to go ultra light though because you got to need the light line to detect strikes. I'll just use a simple grip clench to put it on. That's all I need. Alright. If I can ever get the knot tied. <laughs> Snug it up. Okay. And at this end, we'll make a loop. We'll go a little lower because this is a setup rig here. Do it real quick. We'll clip off the, the, dra the tag end real quick. And we'll attach our first hook. Okay. And we'll make a little loop about 12 inches away from the weight. make a loop. Just do a simple bow knot because we're going to slip it into place. Everything has to look perfect. We'll get the fly. Where did the fly go? Okay, there he is. We're going to put that loop through that loop. Drop your fly back through itself and lock it on. Now we'll snug up that knot to that knot, wet it a little bit, snug it up. There you go. There's a simple rocky mountain white fish rig. Bottom, you want it up off the bottom a little bit because they're, they're tight to the bottom right now spawning. Oh, and another little trick, royal cochins are the best. Tear the white wings off and just leave a little bit of white. Attach a maggot because we're allowed to use maggot in the river at this time of year from August 16th to October 31st. Only bait allowed. You tip it with a maggot or just cast it out and let it drift. So we'll be with you guys shortly. Cast our line and see what happens. And you'll see some fun fishing action after this. Adam's got his line in. We're down here finally. We're going to show you guys how to catch some fish just after this. Rocky Mountain moment. All right, Adam's got one. He's not over 12 inches though, he's too small. Let's throw him back. Nice, good job. You gotta be over 30 centimeters to keep. Next. All right, another one. And Adam, he's over there pounding off the point. But they're biting slow today. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's a nice one. I'm gonna get you to help me land it. I'm gonna bring it over to the left into that bay towards you. Just be patient. All right, there's our dinner. We had to move down the stream a little bit from our original spot. They weren't on this morning. Okay, just be careful. Just stay where you are. I'll bring them to you. You just don't want them to spook. Stand by as we get out and show you the fish. Okay, right, there's my fish. Adam's helped me land. He's been having a good day. He's been having a lot of fun out here. And I thank Adam for coming on out. So you let get the hook out of him, Adam, and we'll let him go. All right, bank fishing. That's another keeper. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, I got a tape measure. So you got to keep in mind, folks, you can only keep five Rockies over 30 centimeters in the river we're fishing, and maggots only from August 16th to October 31st. 
Oh, having fun with the family. Nice. That's even bigger. True fall fishing at its best. Two dinners. Nice one. Nice fish. At our new spot, we've changed spots. Out getting dinners, having fun with my buds. Rocky Mountain Whitefish season, 09. All right, I got the ling. Yeah, all right, there's a bull trout down here. There's burbutt. There's Rocky Mountain Whitefish. Here's the big fish of the day, boys. We got a probably a seven or eight pound ling on. Then I used a jig, threw out a jig and rubber, and sure enough, I got them on. Let's see if I can land them. Stand by. Nice. Nice fish. This has been an, a stellar day. I want to thank Adam and Mike, my friends, coming out today. Showing the boys a few tips and techniques on river fishing. The Highwood River for Rocky Mountain Whitefish. And getting Ling Whitefish. And trying for the bull trout. There's two bull trout in here. This is a big Ling. On light tackle, it's huge. Look at this fish. Stand by and let's see if I can land him. All right. All right, he's got it good. Yeah. Look at that. Where is he? Nice fish. Here we are, cliff fishing. We've done a little bit of river, river fishing under the bow, under the bridge. We've done some uh, walking around, hiking today. And then our final spot here, stopping at a deep pool on the highwood. Awesome. Fishing today. I mean, one after the other, fishing action. You gotta like this. This is gonna take up the whole show, two minutes long. <laughs> I'm gonna land him here, stand by. There's a nice fish. Yeah, over in the eddy here. Yeah. There's a nice one. Adam, you got him? All right, hold him up. He's not that big, but it's a lot of fun. Just like that, look at the jig and rubber sticking out of his mouth. Threw it ahead of him, and sure enough, I got him. Awesome fishing today. Thanks, Adam, for coming out. I hope you had a good time. Did you have a good time today? I had a great Did time. Did you learn a lot? I learned. All right. High fives. Woo! All right. All right. Good job. Lots of fish for supper, and we had a good time. What do you think? Did you, like I said, you learned a lot, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. thanks for coming out, buddy. Yeah. You're yeah. welcome. And we'll see you on YouTube. All right. Right on. All right, Adam gets the big one of the day. Keep your line tight, buddy. Just walk him along. Don't slip into the water. All right, Adam. Hey, look at that. He's got the big one of the day. Nice. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in and joining, joining us in our pursuit for Rocky Mountain Whitefish action. Late fall, well, early fall, late October, 09. Thanks for watching. All right, what a great day we had. I want to thank Adam and his dad for coming out and joining me, showing them tips and techniques on how to river fish for Rocky Mountain Whitefish. Thanks for tuning, and we'll see you next week. Sharp hooks, tight lines. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us today, watching the Rocky Fish action with my partner, Mike, and my other partner. Look at the fish he's caught today, and lots of Rockies. We had a lot of fun. Did you guys learn a lot? Oh, yeah. Have fun? Yeah. yeah. And now steak dinner. Thanks for watching. Sharp hooks, tight lines, and right on. The Master Angler also offers great walk and wade trips to many of southern Alberta's great trout rivers and streams, such as the world-famous Bow River for monster rainbows and browns, the Sheep and Highwood Rivers, which hold, among others, rainbows, bulls, brook trout, and Rocky Mountain whitefish.